From their iconic makeup to shows filled with pyrotechnics that were all but unheard of, the legendary band KISS knew how to put on a jaw-dropping performance. Less than a decade after the first debuting as a band, that crew came to Louisville, granting WHAS 11 exclusive interviews. We take you there in tonight's WHAS 11 Vault. It was September 1979, a decade where band members believed your age could be defined by something specific. I can guess your age by asking you to define KISS. If you tell me KISS is the meeting of two pair of lips, I'll tell you you're old. If you tell me KISS is cool, then you're young. The legendary rock band KISS was ready to rock and roll in Freedom Hall. All right, Louisville! You are the best, and you got the best! The greatest band in the world! Jesus! On a stage estimated to have cost more than a million dollars to build, the band wowed their devoted fans known as the Kiss Army with elaborate effects, and of course, you couldn't miss the iconic makeup. It is an outrageous mixture of ear-blasting music and Barnum and Bailey hokum. The crowd went wild watching what is now considered one of the most influential rock bands of all time. WHAS caught up with the mostly young crowd at the show. I just think they're cool and they play good music. I just like them because I think they're the coolest group in the world. It has been said by music critics that Kiss takes music and beats it to death. Hey, it would be silly for a hard rock band like us to come out on stage and play on stools. So obviously, yeah, we go for the throat. Despite their rough and tough stage presence, band members explained how they kept a clean image, giving WHAS an exclusive interview. First, with guitarist Ace Freely. We don't get into politics, we don't get into drugs, we don't, we're not involved with anything like that. I feel a responsibility to all our fans, you know, that's why I'm here. Singer Paul Stanley explained the reasoning behind the band's makeup. We need a little time to ourselves as part of it. You know, I mean, we're on the road so much of the year and we're usually on the cover of almost every magazine so that we like to keep a little bit of privacy. Plus, I think that most of our fans want us to keep this mystique. I mean, we can't walk down the street like this all the time, so when we don't look like this, We'd rather not be seen. Bass guitarist Gene Simmons explained the origins of the group. Uh, the truth is we happen to be four guys that happen to get along with each other. We grew up in New York City, and uh, we just happened to meet on the streets of New York, four young wild boys that grew into four young wild men and monsters, I guess. We just happen to get along, that's all. There's a lot of respect and a lot of love. Not that we're strange or anything. And drummer Peter Chris commented on their success. I, I see a lot of older people out in the audience uh, bringing their kids now, but they're digging it as much as the kids are, and that's, that's really good. That's cool. Around 8,000 people attended KISS's 1979 concert in Louisville, and for 90 spectacular minutes, they were treated to a night they'd never forget. Three years ago, the band announced after 45 years of performing and recording, they would embark on a final tour called Into the Road. It started in January of 2019, stopped in Louisville in March of that year, and then had to pause for the pandemic, but plans to wrap up in 2022. Every Sunday night, we're digging into the WHAS 11 video archives to bring you interesting stories from decades past. You can watch previous Vault segments right now, online or on the WHAS 11 app.